Good evening. Happy New Year. Welcome to Grandma's Attic Music Review. I I'm so blessed to be with you tonight. Um, there's just so much going on in the area, and if you're sitting at home watching us, then thank you, thank you, thank you. Tonight, to kick off the new year, I just want to bring to you one of the most amazing duos that has happened in the last, I don't know, year or so. These guys have decided to work together. They put out a new CD that's going to be coming out. Well, it's out, but they're having their CD release party on the 16th. And um, if you're not there to, to, the, to see this show, then that's insanity. But anyway, this is all about them. I want you to help me welcome Ear Candy for the Soul. Woohoo! Seem to figure out what it all means. Cause when I see you pass, it feels just like a dream. Where I can see the signs, what can we buy? in your eyes Sorting it out Not red or green There's yellow in between When you look in my heart Do you see something there? I 
in my eyes Do they mirror my soul? Can you see that, baby? I still care Hope everybody had a great holiday. I know that uh, that we did, for sure. And uh, Dana and I have been playing for about a year and a half together, and we're very glad to be bringing you this music. And uh, it's all new music on our CD, which we'll be talking about a little, little bit later. But uh, right now we're going to play some more songs. So what do we got going on there? I understand. Okay, we got a love song, which uh, for me, I don't write a lot of love songs, but, you know. There's a new day coming, so maybe I will. But this is <laughs> one, of the, one of the few love songs that I have for you. It's called Understand It.
appreciate that so much. Um, as I was saying before, Dana and I uh, have been working together for about a year and a half now. We met at Fiddleheads in New London, and, um, uh, and then we recorded a song, which we will be playing for you in, in a little bit, uh, with uh, Hugh Birdsell of The Reducers, and uh, we just started working together a lot and practicing every week and playing a lot of farmer's markets, so uh, we've kind of tightened it all up and uh, had a great time. Uh, doing it. So for our next number, what do we got going on there? That's the one. That's the one I was talking about. As, as fate would have it, this is a song that we recorded at the uh, at Hugh Bertzel's recording studio at his home. And uh, that's this was our first song that we ever really uh, did together. So uh, it's called Si No Me Quieres and it's in Spanish. Mi 
por un día más la luna y el mar viven sin ti va caminando bajo las estrellas el mundo extraño perdida soñando Estoy tan sola aquí Si todo fue mentira Me da dolor Me da dolor Si no me quieres El mundo sigue yendo Aunque sé que no lo entiendo It's all right. You like it that much. I appreciate that. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to Dot um, Ames because she's really the, such a wonderful person and has just helps everybody in the music scene. And uh, you know, I think we all should, uh, you know, express that to her when we see her because she's a very special human being and um, you know doesn't really expect much. From it, except everybody's love, I think, you know. So, uh, so thank you, Doc, very much. Oh no, <laughs> don't cry, Doc. <laughs> don't cry, honey. No. We'll we'll dedicate this next one to Doc. Yay! What is it? I like Brandon. having songs dedicated to me. I can't oh, live on that. Well, this is a this is a protest song. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so after okay, all of yeah. that, I actually like this song. I yeah, it's a good one. It's about hope. And in this time, we need some, yeah. some hope. I'm but all down with the whole protest thing yeah. right now. Yeah, all right. It's all about love and peace and, and, well, and, this is. and hugs. That's yes. what it's all about. That's right. That's what we yeah. want. Okay. That's what we're fighting for. This is called Brand New Worlds. Oh, I love this song. Watch for me. 
his power and now you're the ones who must pray as you fall from your every tower causes a new day coming there's a new time for us all we are a new breed of people who will rise above it all a new world a new world a brand new world for you and me a new world a new world free from their tyranny we march for liberty and we march for truth we march for the freedoms we lost in our about as mean as we get right yeah <laughs> yeah usually pretty sweet uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah i thought we were out of you know. are oh, okay <laughs> what do we got up next dina um gotta get you saying something <laughs> till it feels like spring oh okay good all right this is a song that it's all good this yeah. is a, a song that i wrote um for a friend of mine who was not not doing well, you know, and um, this is just what came out, and it's called "Till It Feels Like Spring." Staring out the window. See the colors are changing Kinda like the way our lives are Changing every day Cause we're not here forever It's so hard to believe how everything has to end So everything can begin again And now we are cold And it feels like winter I will be here To warm your night Through the fever ones, I wanna keep you here beside me and leave the ghosts of a weary world outside till it feels like spring. Time slipped through all fingers, so fast cause we let it. Didn't take the chance, the chance to appreciate it. Now we live our lives for tomorrow's sake when all we have is today. And now we are cold and it feels like. To warm your narrow frame To soothe the fevered bones I want to keep you here beside me And leave the ghosts of a weary world outside Till it feels like spring Oh, 
wants I want to keep it here beside me And leave the ghosts of the weary world outside Till it feels like spring Till it feels like spring Dot says, go on, go on, go on. She loves them all. She loves them all? Of course. Breathe? <laughs> yes. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Whatever yeah. you guys do is good with me. Okay, cool. I could sit here and listen to you for hours. Oh. Well, you might. <laughs> <laughs> you got about ten more minutes to play. Okay, great. This is a song. Uh, Give or take. Okay, cool. This is a song called Breathe, and um, it's a fun one, right? All right. me up where I surely and I and I wake up I with the sun on my face warm sad crib Yeah. Yeah. 
We have time for one more song. You want to do Bright Day or Cielo? I like to do Cielo, yes. Okay. We're going to do another uh, Spanish song for you. In, uh, in the future, um, our next release is going to have a few more Spanish songs on it. So uh, a lot of people are very receptive. You know what? I really want to say something about this song before you do it. Okay. Can I have a camera? F yeah. Uh, uh, no. Yes, I can. <laughs> well, tell Chris, to take Chris it give me a camera. Well, tell him to get. Just for I'm a minute. Get off of it I'll move it. Poor Dot. Just go give me this one. There I don't care. Give me a camera. <laughs> Thank you. So this song that they're going to do was recently done at a concert called Pass the Guitar. And um, I happened to be given the opportunity to MC that show. And Arlene was slipped in kind of at the last minute. She wasn't supposed to play the show. And she came to watch, and she ended up getting asked to play. So I didn't have much of an introduction planned for her, but I knew what I knew. And so I said to the audience, I said, I really don't have a lot to say about this artist. All I can say is when she's done, you're just going to say, wow. And she got up, she did this song, and floored, absolutely killed it. She thanked first the guitar, not people, the guitar, because the guitar was giving all the music to each and every individual musician. And then she killed this song. This song was the highlight of the night. That's all I can say about that. And so now when she does it here, I just want you to enjoy it. It's a fabulous song. And Arlene has heart, and she puts it all into this song. So, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Oh, 
not even, <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps. I absolutely, absolutely love hearing you do that song. Well, she's Thank coming you. over. I just want to tell you, if you want to see her do that live, at, on the 16th of January, there's going to be a CD release party at All Souls Unitarian Universalist Church on J Street in London. And you can meet her live. And Dana. And Dana, of course, and Dana. Um, come on, honey. Oh, <laughs> Dana doesn't want to sit on the camera. It's me that doesn't go on the camera, you guys. Oh, okay. Just for the we record, didn't, we it's didn't not, know that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love having you guys here. I'm so happy that you're opening my 2015 year. What a great way to get Grandma's Attic music review off and running. I'm, oh my goodness, it's so exciting. You guys are so good together. What made, it, what made you realize that the chemistry between you guys was so good? I don't know. I just think it always kind of worked. Well, I remember hearing um, Sina Mikiores and going, wow, I love this song. I want to play with this woman. I hope I can impress her. <laughs> you hope you can impress her? Yeah. And did you have somewhat the same thought about Dana? Oh, I, I, I did. I did because um, what I kind of want um, from, from somebody that I'm playing with is for them to be able to express themselves. And uh, Dana really you know, brings herself to the plate. And that's really, I guess if you're asking about chemistry, that is what it is, is that I bring what I have and with no you know, good, bad, or indifferent. And then Dana does the same. So there's no, there's no walls or boundaries or right. for anything that you can or cannot do. I'm, I'm thinking and remembering the first time I saw either one of you. And it, for you, it was at the Kate. I saw you on stage with um, Amalgamated Muck. Mm -hmm. And um, what a great show that was. And um, I believe that the first time I saw you, Arlene, was at Captain's Pizza. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the first time I saw you was at Captain's Pizza, and I asked you to come and play um, the Farmer's Market, and you were kind of, well, okay. And um, Can I go one further than that? Yeah. Remember, um, I, I, I've known you for longer, like a few years longer than that. Really? Yeah. 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 Maybe. I did a radio show with you. Oh, I, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, that's at, at right. Con, at the con yeah, yeah, college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been there forever. Yeah, and then we sort of then then I was somewhere else, and well, you were you were here, but I was not like in the picture. And then once I showed up again, you grabbed onto me. So well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, with music like yours, how can I not? How can I not? And I think that the the best time I ever had with you while you were playing was at Penny Lane, and you did the. Um, the Christmas song about oh. Santa's um, about yeah, Santa's problem. parts. <laughs> and, um, I was I was in stitches, and oh my goodness, did you sing that this past season? Uh, not not yet. I was going to do it last night, but Dana said, "No, there's kids in the room, so don't." Oh that, so. well, since but it's a good one. Well, it's January third now, so yeah, right. Well, yeah. Well, so it's, you, it's, you it's I play it all year round. You, you know? do? Yes, I do. <laughs> Whenever the request comes up, I do play it. So well. Okay. So it's not really Maybe you can seasonal. take us, no, I don't know. Mm, Maybe no. you can take us out with it. It is uh, 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> nah, probably not, but you can, you can <laughs> check it out on, it's on, uh, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, tell them where they can find it's it. It's on YouTube and you can look under um, Arlene Wow and it's uh, Blue Balls Christmas. And it's, it's to die for. It's very, very funny song. Now, we do have this CD release party, but before that, we don't have anything. Mm -mm. because uh, the last time that you guys played together was December 22nd, right? which was um, a couple of Mondays ago. And uh, Yeah, and we did some other, we did a couple of other shows um, in the Orange area, which was okay. now we're playing at the Bear and Grill every Sunday. For every Sunday at the Bear and Grill. Until infinity, you know. Until, until infinity. Until, <laughs> yeah, until they just. And that's in Orange, around. Connecticut on yeah. Boston Post Road. Right. And you can catch Ear Candy for the Soul at the Bear and Grill every Sunday. Sunday. What time? From 5 to 8? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, what kind of food and stuff did they serve oh, there? Oh, they have really it's good, good food. food. <laughs> we, we're impressed it's because. A, it's got it's a lot good. of steak, but they also have a lot of chicken and fish on the menu. Okay. And they got some vegetarian choices, too. Yeah. And, yeah, we like it. And the, the staff is great. Easy. The staff it's, is awesome. I, 
Yeah, that's a good mm -hmm. job for us. It might be worth a ride to Orange for me to oh, just. Oh yeah, um, I think so. If they've got if they've got meat on the menu, I'm there. Okay. Well, I'm they not, do. I'm, they there's they nothing do vegan about me. <laughs> there's nothing vegan about me. I could I could live on vegetables if I didn't love meat so much. <laughs> what gave you? <laughs> Come on now, oh, that's funny. It is funny. This is the new CD. Where did you come up with this name, Ear Candy for the Soul? I agree that it's Ear Candy mm -hmm. for the Soul, but where did you come up with the name? Well, I, I did, and the reason for that name is that if you get stuck in an elevator, not stuck, but if you're lucky enough to get stuck in an elevator with a producer or somebody who's really going to change your life, life <laughs> you have to have five words that describe what you do so that's what i came up with ear candy for the soul so you're hoping to get stuck in an elevator with a really great producer and um yeah yeah let's do that mm -hmm. I, I wonder how i can make that happen well i gotta stay at hotels a lot and stuff you know well that'd be fun yeah. i think we should do a road trip <laughs> from here to new york city and down to memphis yes and then back up. Memphis would be great and get you guys there. Well, um, we are we are thinking about, you know, this coming year to do a little touring. So. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Who is the primary songwriter in the duo? The duo yeah. of you two? I, I'm the songwriter. So. And do you write the melodies also? Or do you just bring the words to the table and then you guys both write the melodies well, together? Well, what, what happened was that uh, some of these songs I had uh, recorded, uh, whether on my own or in the studio or what have you. So what we did was we stripped it down to uh, guitar and vocal, and then Dana put her her violin melodies to it. So. Mm -hmm. So you, so know, you wrote your own so melodies to add stuff. to her stuff. All of the melodies began as improvisation. Okay. And in the newer songs, I'm still improvising. And actually, when you listen to the songs, they're never the same way twice. There are certainly some things that I play the same because it works. But right. And especially at the end of the songs, you know, we're doing, you know, some improvisation, scatting. You know, it's mm -hmm. and and I think actually it's it's I'm having fun. Arlene's having fun, and I think the audience has fun with that too. Yeah, so I have a blast with it. Some spontaneity. It's live. Oh my goodness. And that's what's on the CD, too. It's live. We could never do these with a click track or with layers. Right, We're right. looking at each other, and when she's backing off the microphone, I know that's my opportunity. When she gets close to the mic, I know I have to, you know, give her some space. It's, yep. it's like now, a conversation. When you first, when I first saw you, you hadn't been doing a lot of playing out with bands at that point, and now it seems like you play with everybody. Um, how does that feel to you? You're playing with so many, I could name at least five bands that you hook up with and play. How does that feel for you? Well, um, I still do a lot of symphony work. And, you know, if you look at the symphony players, there's lots of symphony players that play with Bridgeport one week and Waterbury the next. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, actually, right now I'm playing really with just two major groups. I play with the River Gods, uh -huh. which is a big band, and yeah, yeah. it's very scripted. And I have a lot of fun with the River Gods. They're a great right. band. They're, they're a lot of fun. And then... Then I've got Arlene, which is like the complete opposite because it's a small group and, and there's a lot more um, improvisation, like yeah. I was saying. There's, um, so, you know, those are the two groups that I really play with. And then there's just other groups that um, will invite me on stage, and it's always flattered to be in, invited on stage. Like, I, I love playing um, the Waterboys with the dog bite. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. They're so, a lot of fun. Yeah. So, <laughs> I was, um, I lost my train of thought. Whatever. I'll switch tracks because I lost where I was going with that, but I was going somewhere with that. Um, you are also teaching some classes out at the Nightingale Cafe, which is in Old Lyme. And um, people can find you there and find all kinds of wonderful things out at Nightingale's. Nightingale's is the um, base for the Music Now Foundation, which is all about teaching kids and getting mm -hmm. kids involved with performers. And you've performed there recently, mm -hmm. yes. like in sometime in November, right? You, or yeah. Well, early flies, yeah. yeah, it was, so. yeah. But um, the Nightingale Acoustic Cafe is just one of those venues where you can go in and they have a guitar circle and a uke circle and 
just a little bit of everything and you have a couple of students that you're teaching there now also mm -hmm. so that's a really great thing you guys can look up the music now foundation at musicnowfoundation.org and check out what they're doing their mission statement is there and they're really doing some wonderful things with children and with excellent professional performers because of their mission statement and we'd love to have more of you join us and join in our mission to help get people um involved now i want to know what's going to happen at the cd release party of this it says it's here secret. Secret. it says here that we have some people going to perform with you such yes. as um was it on here dog bite and um we have who dog who? bite josie davis josie he josie said davis. she said yes oh my goodness and surprises and surprises yeah. i like surprises top secret Sorry, you'll have to go to the show. Now, the show is really, really simple to find. It's on J Street. You can get your tickets at FridayNightFolk.org. Also, just for the record, it's only $10. Now, you can't see a show like what you're going to see that night for 10 bucks anywhere. You just can't. And it's just a wonderful. I think we're going to be serving wine that night. So that will be good for the peeps to have a couple of glasses of wine. What is your favorite song on this CD? Oh, man. Do you have a favorite, Dana? Dana, answer that one. Well, I like playing Breathe because it's, yeah. you know, it's tricky. Is that the song that you do the finger pick it, finger playing in? No, no, it's the one that, um, that one's builds on and it has a lot of fast notes. And when mm -hmm. we did that in the studio, we did it once. And Ooh, first I cut. Well, it was like, Arlene's like, you want to repeat it? I'm like, nope. I can't do it again because <laughs> it just, uh, anyway, there's so much energy in it. Yeah. So that one I, I have fun playing because it's, it's quite challenging. It requires a lot of concentration. It's nice to see you challenge. <laughs> I think it takes a lot to challenge you. So Breathe is your favorite. What about you? Don't, you can't answer the same si answer. Si no me quieres. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. You tear that song up. So I'm not very, um smart when it comes to languages mm -hmm. i speak english and i don't even do that very well um what are some of the words what does that song mean oh S si no me quieres is it's kind of like it's a it's a heartbreaker song it's just somebody who's kind of walking down the street lost and uh because um, their love has left them the other one cielo that's just about that's the other spanish song that's on here yeah it's about um that this person is like so in love with this other person yeah. that when they look at them, all they see are the heavens. So, oh, now yeah. that would be love. That yeah, that would be so. love. Mm -hmm. I love that. Have you felt that kind of love before? Oh boy! Wow! Now you're going deep, Dot. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is long time ago. Time. Long time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. And Dana. You must feel that love. You've got, um, what, three children? I've got three children, and they're just terrific. And you feel that love when oh, you see them, you see heaven, well, right? Well, <laughs> yes. Or hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, have, I have absolutely fantastic kids, and they're all musicians. And maybe you've seen one of them. My daughter, Rachel, sings with the River Yeah, Dots. I've heard Rachel yes. sing, and yes. I've seen you and her sing and play together. And, yeah, yeah she's phenomenal. Thank That's you. a wonderful okay. thing. Do you like seeing that your children are engaging in music, especially Rachel? Do you like the fact that she's... They're all accomplished musicians, so, you know, they, they are good at math and they're good at music, and I think that's great. Now, that's because you started let, letting them listen to music right from the get-go. Um, I love playing music, and I, I think it's actually a language, and if you really understand it, you can appreciate it more. I mean, you can mm -hmm. always listen to it, but when you've actually studied it, it's got a lot going on. Right. So, you know, they can all read music, and they know music theory and um, you know the oldest one is finishing up his masters in mathematics at the Carnegie Mellon but he also was a very accomplished pianist and I'm very proud of that too. Wonderful. So. I, well I think that if you can do if you can read and play music then you're much better at math anyway. I think that those two things go hand in hand mm -hmm. and one of the biggest mistakes that um, schools have made is to take music out of the schools. I think that's wrong. And um, I will fight hand and foot as long as I live to keep music alive and keep music going, which is one of the reasons why you guys are so important. 
what you do keeps music going and keeps music um, exciting and different. And uh, if the world were to kind of implode tomorrow and it was just the two of you left on the earth with 12 children, what would you do for them? What would your legacy be to them? I'll leave them with the gift of music. How would you do that, though? Just if I had no instruments or anything like that? You have like nothing that. except oh, just 12 children in you. We sing. We sing. You're going to teach them to sing. They're already going to know how. That's the thing, is that children are just have the innate music within them. And what you're talking about, the school systems, and uh, they are actually extracting this really innocent and wonderful part of every human being. They, mm -hmm. are, they are taking it out and stomping on it and say, you know, that's not valuable. It's you know? so valuable. So uh, when I was a kid, that's what I did. I sang. I sang mm -hmm. and I sang and I sang and I sang. I didn't need to have an instrument. I didn't need, you know, anything. I just had me and whatever, you know, the cosmos just, you know, coming singing in and out. And and, yeah, How about so. you, Dana? Well, I can, I can tell you a story you might like. Last summer I taught at a uh, classical violin school. Uh -huh. And Arlene came out one day as a guest and we rocked it. We played for them, and a lot of these kids were Suzuki trained, and they knew their theory, and they knew their Suzuki. And then we, we said, well, everybody get your instruments out. You're all going to play. And they all got their instruments out, and we played Cielo. Oh, my and I goodness. didn't even any music or anything. I said, it starts on the A string. Use your ears. You'll know what to do. And that's what happened. It, it was, was fun. amazing. Was so all fun. 60 of them. Started on the A string, and they when it was time to come in with the la 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 la. Yep. Sixty violins, a few cellos, and a few pianos, and I think there was one flute, and it was <laughs> a good. cacophony of noise. But it they totally knew what to do. It was mm -hmm. instinct. They knew what to play. Well, by the end of that song, at pass the guitar, the whole audience was singing that part oh, yeah. too, mm -hmm. because, and then the standing O. I mean, it was just off the hook. It still is. We're running out of time. I don't know how, but we are. Do we you guys have, have a to thank Ben Parent for yes. helping oh, us with this because I did on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> ben Parent helped with the graphics of this. He's the photographer. He is the wizard, as we will say. And do you guys have a song you can take us out with? Sure. Okay. Thank you so much for coming to Grandma's Attic. I love you, Dad. I love you too. You guys are so awesome. So until next week, guys. Stay um, happy and free and enjoy the first weeks of 2015. It's going to be a really great year. Love you. Till next week. Yeah.